Well, speaking of the future, we have quite a couple of things to look forward to now. Uh, last week, the day after our fabled Android show, uh, Hiroshi and the crew surprised us with the Android N developer preview. Now, this isn't the full developer preview that you typically get after the Google I.O. keynote. This is, as I sort of called it, basically an alpha version of Android N, whatever it's going to be called. So, I, have, I have it here. I can show it off while you talk about it. I So, unfortunately, I have not been able to install it yet because I, I will be quite honest with everyone that I took some time off after the GS7 review craziness. But you can expect, if you want to try it out and install Android N yourself, you can expect to use the new multi-window API. Uh, you'll ha also have access to the new picture-in-picture -picture mode which also works on Android TV, new notification redesign, notification bundling for apps uh, like uh, messaging apps um, to sort of help consolidate all of that, uh, Doze improvements, which now works when your phone is in your pocket, Direct Boot, which uh, will protect a device. Let me start that over again. Direct boot, which means a protected device won't reboot only to the pin login screen. It will boot up again and ask for a pin when you first use it, which is good for alarms and things of the nature. Uh, storage permission also been expanded, so app apps can ask for access to a specific folder and not simply all of the storage. Um, and also, Project Svelte has changes for removing broadcasts that can hijack things like the camera. And uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I've I've encountered that so many times with my devices where I'll launch an app and then it's like can't connect to camera or right, whatever. Right, right, right. And that's what they're saying that the Svelte changes will actually address is that it's kind of managing those background processes and releasing them right. uh, in a different way so that that hopefully won't happen anymore. Right. So I consider that a big win because that is the most annoying thing in the world ever. And it's like, great, now I got to reboot my device or I'm not sure what I have to do in order to get back into the camera. Uh, Ron Amadio, whose last name I always mispronounce is Amadeo, Amadeo. Pretty, Rock me, Amadeo. Pretty, pretty common. Uh, spotted freeform Windows mode in Android N. Now, because this is in alpha beta developer preview, it's very possible that anything we might find could just be retracted by the time mm. the final version comes out. Yeah. But this is very interesting just based on the conversations we've been having about Android turning into like a desktop replacement, especially what Google's trying to do with Pixel C and um, Android for work, just trying to make the Android platform into more of a productivity platform, which right. is quite frankly, not how we've thought of Android up until now. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Pixel C is one primary kind of test it's of the first, Android. It's the first of the many of this experimentation of Android yeah. being a primary device. Yeah, from a, from a more mm -hmm. of a, a vanilla kind of approach. Did you right. ever, uh, Gina? Did you ever get a chance to play around with kind of the Pixel C and the form factor at all? I haven't. I haven't. I still. I'm still a little wigged out by the whole idea of Android as kind of a desktop <laughs> I feel operating you, system. Gina. Yeah, 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 but maybe I'm living in the past, you guys. Well, I don't know. I mean, when, when I got the Pixel C and played around with it, and you know, with the thought of, okay, could I actually live my life like this and, and uh, ditch the laptop? I know I couldn't do it. For myself, I couldn't do it. There's just too many limitations. Mm -hmm. And up until N, there were too, there were too many ways in which it didn't necessarily work enough like a desktop to make that, mm -hmm. you know, maybe a little bit less painful, at least now with the kind of multi-screen kind of capability, it addresses a little bit of that. So I think I was kind of showing it off where you can kind of pull up one thing on one side here, you hold down on the, or sorry, you, you pull up your multitasking, tap a window, so that's full screen. And then if you hold this down, it pops it into multi-screen mode and then you can select. And you know, I love thing. that so much because it pulls from the recent apps menu. Yeah. So you're not like going back on hit on the Samsung TouchWiz. Uh, let's see, you can like resize a window and then it makes it into a pop-up. Mm -hmm. And then you have to sort of like move it around and 
make it so that it does whatever you want it to do, or right. it'll like leave the home screen and then you have to tap on the app that you want. It's kind of annoying. So it's nice to see this implementation. It's very smart. Are, what if, if there's a video playing in one of those windows, I mean, both of these windows are active. So if there's movement in both of them, they will both continue. What if you touch both at the same time? Like, I'm curious to know how this multi-window ah, uh, support great, is actually. Cool. Oh, there you go. You're scrolling both at the same time. Those are both active activities that's interesting uh, so it's see seeing here. your two fingers is two it's just two separate screens and they're just going at the same time because both your fingers are on the screen what if you do it um can you try and do it like uh i can't think of the word uh, like yeah you, like that like, wait <laughs> uh like this oh yeah oh perfect okay <laughs> i feel yeah, like yeah. i'm playing a game yeah no totally that's kind of neat pew, 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 pew. um yeah cool that you can do that like i've seen I've seen these multi-window um, implementations on other devices, and it was the kind of thing where if this was my current screen and I tapped over here, uh, like if this was my current screen over here and then I scrolled over here, there would be like a second where it would like shift focus over there and then out of nowhere it would just like snap up. And uh, I believe in one of my early reviews, I can't remember which device it was, but it did that and I called it like fake multitasking because I was like, you know, it's, it's kind of fake. Like it's, it, they're both on the screen at the same time, but you're still kind of like shifting focus from mm -hmm. one to the other. And so it's like a halfway step. Uh, this really seems like it's kind of treating, you know, them both uh, in their own process, which is uh, pretty nice. So yeah, I don't know if this, sorry, sound. Gina. It's like, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. My developer brain is like, is spinning. I'm like wondering if both windows were playing sound or both windows were playing video you know, if there there would be competition for resources, just because, you know, Android prior to N has this very strict sort of life cycle thing where like there's one activity that's in the foreground and that's it, right? And like, that's the only one that's active. And that's why you're saying that any other implementation, you know, was fake, but this is full on. There's a two foreground active processes, which is just interesting because that just involves threading and, you know, like on the back end of Android, there's, you know, support for that background. Yeah. Okay, so, so I've got YouTube on the left side. It says background plays on with YouTube red videos keep playing with the screen off. I, okay, well, yeah, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about here. So there we go. Hopefully PewDiePie doesn't let us down and totally, you know, put something on the screen that's going to offend a lot of people. Um, let's see here. If I wanted to pull up Play Movies in the other one, I could. App may not work App with screen. App may not work with split screen. Interesting. Okay. Well, but it looks like it probably is. We'll go ahead and watch Peanuts movie. Well, see, now this one really isn't. Okay, so now Peanuts is playing over here and now focus over here. Got it. So you can see it's kind of juggling it. Interesting. Which, yeah, yeah. That I makes mean, sense, right? Yeah. I mean, are you really going to want Peanuts and uh, PewDiePie? <laughs> Peanuts and PewDiePie. Yeah, play right, you're not going to want to watch two videos at the same time. Maybe if you were doing a hangout with someone mm. and watching a movie and talking about to them about it, you know? Yeah. Oh, that would be... Man, why has nobody figured out a way to do that well? Like watching yeah. TV with a friend. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess it's an old-fashioned way. Just talk on the phone. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> well, who Slam knows? Maybe in VR, you'll be able to do <laughs> that. VR. That's what true. That? You just look one way and be like, we're watching TV, and then look the other way and be like, what do you think, friend? <laughs> totally. I mean, seriously, you will be able to do that at some point. Uh, they, they have VR um, movie theater apps where- They do. You, you, you're inside a virtual movie theater, and there's light effects on the seats and everything. I don't know if I'm going to wear a thing on my head, though, for like two oh, no. hours, because no. I'm a totally- oh. I just take over the couch when yeah. I'm watching. I'm just like, oh. <laughs>